asking his question, his cue action now, just as you Thank saw Thank you. Frame 10. Going backwards Ding and forwards Jong there. Ding to break. Not only have you got to be, have a great deal of ability, you've got to have a strong mind. Bad break off there from Ding. And he's turned out his left Joe Perry. Very awkward shot, bridging over the brown. Not easy to uh, well align the shot up. You, you see how high his head is up there. Not looking down the line. Pretty good effort. Joe Perry just shaking his arm there because he knows he could have a go at this, just loosening himself up. That was too loose. Didn't strike that well at all. Got it much too thin. Otherwise he could have got round the back black and got down towards the bulk area, but I'm not sure if Ding's got anything easy, maybe a plant. Of course the black may come into play then. Yeah, if he plays with plenty of top spin, he may kiss the red that's next to the black and bring the black into play, but he's not bound to kiss his black into play. But he did, and that's an excellent Bye. shot. It's amazing isn't it, the way the balls line up sometimes. Joe would have gone back to his chair thinking, oh, I might have got away with that. But the plant was perfect. If Dean gets onto the red nicely, we know what a great break builder he is. It could be the end. Ding Jong Wee to break. Ding the truth of it is, if he had made the red, he would not have been unlucky. And that's how it is, I'm afraid. That's the way you've got to look at it. You can give as many stories as you like while you lose a match. But the truth is, it's probably every time it's because you miss pots. yellow if the blue wasn't where it is because that's causing him a slight problem but he can play a stun with side and get onto the red that's on the same line as the blue spot in the middle and come even higher now is there a gap to get onto this red that's yellow it may be fortunate here maybe to get on the one nearest the pocket Yes, you can. You can play that slowly if you want and come on the black. Plays the red in the middle. You can only play for really the yellow or the blue. It's worth the risk just dragging this in with a little bit of right hand side, staying on the black, and then 
can start at the business end of the table. Twelve. He knows this is his chance to win frame and match and get to another final with a possible chance of winning the fifth ranking tournament of the season, which will equal Stephen Hendry's record. bit bits and pieces this match isn't it times we thought it was going to be excellent and then the, the safety has been so good in this match that now and again the players got bogged down twenty two Just to go well, which it hasn't. 23. Oh, this black is nasty. You'll take it on, but it's tricky. We're not 100% sure to pot this or to get a good uh, cannon on the red and to get gain position. We've got the pot. We've got two reds on. Thirty. Even off the side <coughs> cushion is never easy. Good. It's very still in the shot, and you need to on those. Doesn't like the yellow. Taking the more difficult pot on the brown. We'd like to get back down to this uh, black spot area as quickly as possible. Seems to pot a lot of balls here for just the 36 break. Just feel one good position shot here. Want these rats could clinch it. This all started, of course, when Joe Perry went for a long red, made a bit of a mess of it, and looked as if he'd got away with it in the pack, but there was a plant on for Ding that also led to him kissing the black into play as well. 40. This was the long red that you were talking about, Terry, and it was... It you know, a straightforward shot really to go round the back of the black and players as a shot to nothing in board, but completely miss hit it. But then look where the ball's finished. And that left this plant. Looked at first glance, there was nothing on. <coughs> and 
this is the next shot as we see Ding Claire Paul saved here. Look what happens. You think you're safe, and then all of a sudden Black springs into operation and uh, he's off to go, but played a very poor positional shot there. To keep this break going, he's going to have to cut it in. Now they come round the back of the black or play for a bought colour if he plays it in the corner pocket. Which way will he play? Playing the thin cut. I have no idea where the cue ball is going. Three. No idea where the cue ball was going. He'd have to say a little unfortunate to, to get a kiss on the ball colour, but he's still got the brown in the middle. A lot of players would just roll up to the yellow. <laughs> the the frame and match. He's going all out for the frame and match. They're taking the brown in the middle. Quite right as well. Looks a natural angle to get on one of the reds. hard enough after all the effort to pot in the brown forgot about the position looking at the line Terry probably needed a little bit of stun didn't it to widen the angle he played it plain ball thinking that uh, it would be on the two reds the one at the back of the three behind the pink and or the one that's nearest the black and the angle wasn't there so now faced with another very thin cut now how does he miss the kiss on the red on the cushion I don't think he can. He's having a good look at it, but yeah. Uh, I mean, the last thing he wants to do is kiss that red out. Well, he's having a go. I can't say I didn't hit this thick. But he didn't do it, and he avoided the kiss. But where's the cue ball going? Very close to the cushion or the bolt line. So another good pot needed. Well, the break was on to 48 at such a crucial time as well in this match. But he has spotted some uh, good balls and some excellent positional shots. Needs another one here. Two reds at the back of the pack available into the left corner. What a brilliant shot. Actually, the, the second run of the two, Terry, is not available, is he? He had to play for that gap. Couldn't have played it better. Brilliant. 52. All these top players, you know, look, you know, when you think about winning the game and the match, they don't refuse anything in the final frame. A couple of times he's been out of position. A couple of times he's got back into it again. And Joe Perry knows now that the 59. end is nigh. Yes, the top players, the difference of the top players, the very top players are, you know, that uh, they can play at their best when they're feeling the worst. And that's what he's done here. Excellent performance. Joe Perry's put up a very good show. 67. Played some good snooker. Could say a shot here and there would have made the difference, but that's always the case. Remarkable performance from Ding, isn't it? In his fifth final of the year. I don't think he's got beat in a final, I don't know. But uh, he's certainly got a chance of equaling Stephen Henry's record now. 
I'm sure whoever gets to the final is going to be great. This Newport crowd would probably like to know Sullivan Ding final, but Barry Hawkins is playing exceptionally well. He's not guaranteed to be a Ninety-one to Sullivan final. Ninety-three. His second century of the match. Yes, and it would be fit in, wouldn't it? Because this has been an excellent break. Take a few really risky shots 96. on when he could have played safe, but that was never his intention. He was going for the win. 100. Well, the black was in as well. What a great performance from Ding there in that final frame. A break of 118 has taken him into tomorrow's final, beating Joe Perry by six frames to four.